Okay, so this is how you set up a Discord and Discord Canary setup with one on push to talk and one on push to mute under the same keybind. The easiest way to do it is to go to user settings, and this is your main Discord, so I have this as Discord. Um, the one that you will be hot mic'd in. So you're going to go into user settings. First thing you're going to want to do is go into voice and video. Make sure that you're on voice activity so that you're recording or you're getting whatever you say you're hot mic'd. You don't want to be on push to talk. You want to be on voice activity and make sure your mic sensitivity is pushed up to where it will filter out any background noise but connect, but hear your audio input. Uh, make sure it's all working. You want to test it. Uh, mine set to default. Then once you have this all tested and then you know this works, you want to go down into key bindings. And then you go, I'll delete this for now so it's not confusing. You want to go into add key binding. Go into action. Push to mute. And then set this up to whatever your push to talk button is on your canary. So once you have that set up, you could exit out of this and then exit out of Discord, or minimize it, and go into your canary. So this is my canary. Uh, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of the reverse. So all you really have to do here is go into voice and video, set it on, it'll usually, I think, default to voice activity, but you wanna push it to push to talk, and then set your key binding, your shortcut to the same. Once you have all that done, make sure that everything's set up to you can hear yourself and then test it out. The delay is usually set at a good spot. You don't really have to mess with this, but you can. Um, I hope this helps. Once you're done with that, you just exit out. You don't have to save it or anything, and you should be good to go.